Well, I just finished that last film, and then I decided I'd turn around because it just was feeling too dicey for me. And yeah, I could put on the uh, the ice act, get the ice axe out, put on the crampons, and go across this snowfield. Uh, but I just figured there's more coming. I mean, the elevation here is uh, roughly 5,000 feet. I'm up 2,000 from the pass, but uh, obviously we would uh, be climbing even higher than this if we were to go into the Cascades next week. And I'm just thinking that probably this is not, not the year. So, disappointing as it is, I was really last night and early this morning thinking, well, you know, it's all about high adventure, and certainly this is high adventure, but I just traversed this, and again, as you can see, it's, it's a long way down if you start sliding, not to mention the fact that with 20-some people, you're bound to have somebody take a slip. Um, so yeah, I'm going to traverse back across this and uh, turn around and unfortunately I'd love to be up here for like another week just kind of hanging out in this spot but I want to get this on film this uh, on YouTube so you guys can take a look and help me call it because I'm giving you the first hand look and unfortunately this is only uh, five and a half miles in to the 75 mile trip but it's enough for me to to think that, at least from my standpoint, this is the this is the way to call it, so that we uh, go to the Wallawas, and certainly we may have some of this in the Wallawas as well, especially at the high passes. But we'll just have to deal with it when it comes, and make good, sound, wise, safe decisions. So I'm going to turn her off now and head back uh, the other way on the PCT towards Snoqualmie Pass. Over and out.